Hello, my beautiful viewers. How is everyone doing? I hope very good. I thought I'd make a quick video and let you know about life after stevia. So to, to begin, I want to just go back in time and tell you my, my relationship with stevia, how it all started. So I knew I was having too much sugar, especially in the morning. I, would, I was raised with sugar my entire life. So I would have like two teaspoons always in the morning drink, whatever it was, tea, coffee, whatever. I, I used to be a coffee addict also. So I, when I started my health journey, I said, you know, I got to watch what, what I'm ingesting and stuff like that. I'm going to start finding healthy replacements. Nine or, or, or eight years ago, I said I'm switching to stevia. I started researching and I realized stevia is the only healthy herb that I could have that's natural. So I started having like two teaspoons of sugar in the morning and then in the afternoon I'd have nothing, just stevia. And then gradually, after a year, I think a year and a half, I quit the sugar in the morning and I replaced the whole day with stevia. And I said to myself internally, I said to myself, I'm going to do this for like a couple of years and then I'm going to drop this sweet thing. And I haven't. I'm noticing today, only, only like three weeks ago I realized, where, where did that promise go, you know? It's funny how we go about life unaware of what we're doing, just like on an automatic autopilot, just, you know, like a machine. Anyway, so I realized that I've had this stevia relationship for nine years and it's not really serving me, especially now because I don't have carbs. My All my energy is coming from uh, fats. I, I'm on a high fat uh, diet, low carb. So what's the purpose of having sweet stuff if it's zero sugar and it doesn't give me energy? It really doesn't serve any purpose if you think about it. If you're on a high carb diet, yeah, it does serve a purpose because it triggers your, you know, you want energy, something that has energy. But stevia doesn't have energy, zero calories, zero carb. Why, why are we doing this? You know, to transition, but it shouldn't be for this long, eight or nine years. It's too much. And then it's a dangerous relationship because it does trigger my cravings sometimes to desserts and stuff. It's all psychological, believe it or not. Sugar addiction is not psychological because there's bacteria that's created in a very high number like candida and stuff and you can't kill it overnight. You have to slowly remove it, you know. But stevia addiction is completely psychological. Or at least this is my experience. Everything I say in my videos is my own experience and I can't speak in the, in the voice of anybody else. So three weeks ago I decided to quit stevia and the first thing that happened the next morning I'll have my morning drink which I always used to have sweetened with something. <laughs> it was sugar before now it's stevia. And it just tasted wrong. I'm like oh goodness this doesn't taste good at all. And then I thought about it in a flash and then I said to myself, let me, I'm going to readjust this brain. Uh, I said to myself, um, I am letting go. So I took a second sip and I said, I'm letting go of sweet to really savor the flavor of my food. Because I know there's other flavors. There are other flavors in the food. Sweet is not the only flavor. There, we have like umami, um, citric, uh, acidic, we have uh, bitter, we have um, uh, uh, salty. So there's a lot of taste buds. But the overwhelming one is sugar that guides us. But if you're having, you quit already sugar for a while and you're carrying stevia, it doesn't really serve you. So I said to myself, for the second sip, I quit, I, I let go of sweetness be, to, to discover the true flavor of the food that I'm ingesting, I'm eating or drinking. And all of a sudden, my brain, something happened, and then I started savoring the taste of that herbal tea that I was having. I was having a mixture of ground IV with um, Genmaisha tea. It's a, I'll post a, a link below to the, the Amazon if you want to buy them. They're really delicious um, teas. Um, and all of a sudden, I started tasting like the forest and uh, it was just like the green and, and just amazing <laughs> flavor that I never paid attention to. Always when I have my tea in the morning, no matter what tea it is, the first thing that hits me is the sweet. 
you know? And I really am like tired of it because I, as a human being, I want to be free. I quit caffeine, I quit alcohol, I quit so many things. There's no reason for me to have this sweet thing, especially when I'm not on a high carb diet, I'm on a low carb, high fat diet and all my energy is coming from fat. So it was a magical moment and I wanted to share it with you and let you know that no matter what addiction you have, most of it, I think, see the bacterial uh, uh, adjustment can happen if you do the gradual release of the, of the addiction, but most of the addiction is mental. And if you tell yourself that you don't need it, being at caffeine or alcohol or anything, that doesn't serve you and serve your health and improve you as a human being as a whole just let go of it and when you ingest whatever like let's say you're smoking when you breathe next time in the morning instead of smoking say I let go of the smell of the smoke or the flavor of the smoke that I used to smoke to really ingest and, f and savor the true flavor of air Maybe if you're in a beautiful place that's green or next to the ocean and the smell that will hit your brain is completely different. And you start, the more you do it, the more you're going to start feeling that really what we're doing here is, is adjusting our bodies to become our true self, you know, because the true you doesn't need anything. You don't need caffeine. You don't need alcohol. You don't need sugar. You don't need stevia. You don't need anything. You're pure and whole. You actually can savor other things that have been hidden from us because of our little addictions here and there. So that's all I wanted to share with you today. It's, it was a magical moment when I <laughs> savored my tea and then every morning now I'm looking forward to those little flavors that just like, it's like sparks in my head, you know? I taste things I've never tasted before. I've had sugar my entire life and stevia after sugar and I've never really woke up in the morning and had a, a drink that had nothing. Also, oh, I want to point out that I'm not craving any drinks in the morning. I'm just having my breakfast and I realized the drink was only to satisfy the sweet. So I'm having breakfast and I'm like an hour, two hours later, I'll have a, a cup of uh, maybe whole broth. I have a recipe in my um, channel, uh, I think two videos before this one. A whole broth is delicious. It has helped also tame all those uh, sugar things. Probably it's, it's a magical thing that you can have to let go of your uh, stevia or sweet addiction. Because it's so full of minerals and nutrients, it's amazing. It's a burst of, uh, of nutrients to your body. So um, I think that whatever you can put your head into you can achieve and the more you become whole the more your life takes on a different perspective and you start truly getting to know yourself the true self the pure the pure you alrighty thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a like and subscribe to my channel I'll talk to you soon bye